First two days of uh, practice, Coach, how, how, how's it going? Yeah, it's as quick as tempo as I've ever been around. <laughs> it's, 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 I mean, the first day I, I got out there, um, I'm going to tell you, I don't think anybody expected that kind of tempo with, with Gus's uh, system. And so you're running around and you're running around, and by the, probably about the last 15, 20 minutes of practice, you couldn't breathe, even as a coach, as a player. So the pace is tough, but our, <coughs> our kids have just adapted just a little bit better today. Just to clarify, what's your exact role in the, in the secondary right now? I'm coaching the safeties. Uh, Lolly, coach, coach Lolly's doing the corners. I'm doing the safeties. I was an old linebacker coach. I learned under. I don't know if you guys knew Ron Case. Ron used to be at um, LSU and, and uh, at Mississippi State of his Ole Miss. Um, I was his GA at Carolina in the secondary, and my first couple of jobs was in the secondary. So I've been doing linebacker, but I got trained as a secondary coach. Have you got all Lolly's country sayings down yet? I'm still learning. <laughs> I mean, I'm walking around I, every day because him and I meet a lot. And I'm originally from Arkansas, guys. And uh, I thought I had dropped my accent. And, and, and on Get Around Lolly, it's just coming right back. You know, everybody else say Alabama. And Lolly says Alabama. You know, so he put that Bama. It's as good as anybody I've been around. So my, my southern drawl is slowly coming back just by being around Coach Lolly. From, from what you've seen with the guys you got back, I, yes, uh, I mean, two days, obviously, you can't tell a whole lot. But, right. just, but I'll I, tell you, this, the kids, one, one thing I'm finding that they, they, they want. You know, football is really important here, and it's the culture of Alabama. Uh, these kids want to play, and they want to they please us. Uh, right now, they've, doing, they've done everything we've asked them to do, and they're trying their best to go as hard as they can. Um, you know, the, the, you got guys like Zach and McNeil and Walt and, and Nico. You know, the first string guys, you know, they move around, they fly around. The, the, the second groups and the third groups, you know, they didn't play as much last year. But and you try to pick those guys up where they can, you know, get on the learning curve with the rest of those older guys uh, and pick the game up just a little bit faster for those guys. So right now you got the ones that are playing real fast. And your second guys, you know, they're kind of still feeling their way. And you're hoping that after the spring that they'll be at the least at the pace where those, uh, <coughs> those ones are. I guess we haven't talked to you since uh, – Got here. What what maybe drew you here, and what how'd that I guess go down getting you well, to Auburn? Know, I, I, Carolina was my alma mater, and uh, I've been there for the last four years. I played there, I GA there, I taught school there for a couple of years, and uh, you know this, the the state and the university was great to me. Uh, but yeah, you know, I honestly had to look at it. I mean, you got to honestly look at Auburn football. You know, you when Mac Brown had told me that, and Gene Jennings said, just go back and you look at the history of the great coaches that have come out of here. You know, if you really want to, you know, uh, make better on your career, Auburn is a serious job. And I heard that from so many different guys. You know, yeah, I could have been a mom and model for all my life, but, you know, I want to be at a place where football is really, really important. And uh, this place, I'm telling it, it is unbelievable. From what, when you talk to coaches outside the country, when they tell you, yeah, you need to, it ain't like you need to think about it. Nobody ever told me, don't think about going to Alabama. Uh, you know, down Alabama, Coach Auburn, they said, you got to go. For your career, you got to go to Auburn. You got to take that job for your career. It is one of the best jobs in all of America. Did you talk to Mac Brown at all before making the decision? Yeah, I've been on that. Mac is one of my biggest confidants. And uh, I ask him about my career all the time. And one of the things I ask, I said, Mac, I want to, you know, prolong my career. And who would be a guy that I can go to? And he said, uh, I'm going to tell you, one of the best, in, uh, you know, one of the uh, – most fiery young coaches coming up, most talented young coaches. He said, one of the best I've ever had coach for me was Gene Chiswick. And he said, I, I think, Dig, if you go with Chiswick, that will be wonders for your crew. And when he told me that, that was, that was a no-brainer. Back up, and it was time to go. Because you and Lolly almost fighting over Aaron Savage and where he's going to end up. I'm going to tell you, now, Sav, I mean, he, he is, he's probably, even with the knee, well, you can tell he's well coached well coached and, and the kid is very attentive and very aware of the game. Even with the hurt knee, he still has a whole lot of savvy. Uh, you know, you look at his size, he's got the ideal size for a corner, but he got the right mentality for, for safety. You know, he doesn't care about his body. Uh, I can't wait to see when he gets back and you know he'll come back 110% because, you know, he works out. He, he, he does it just like an NFL guy would do it. When it comes to rehabbing the knee, the surgery, you know, you tell a young guy, it's the surgery, is, is, that's not the part of it. 
the most important of the rehab is the, the actual rehab. And this kid rehabs three, four times a day. So you know probably about the next month or two, this kid will be 100%. So it, it'll be really interesting to see. He'll be a, uh, a great benefit to our football team once he gets back healthy.